yo people and welcome back to the juice review Well, when I say juice review it is at that time of the month it is vape mail time now if you know nothing about vape mail what it is it's an e-liquid subscription and it is monthly it is free delivery they've got and it's their own e-liquid they've got over 500 flavors now depending on which tier you're in is depending on what you actually get like I said it is 50 mil short fills now if you're in the silver tier you get two of their flavors, plus you get your Nick, if you do take Nick, and it is Nick Salts, plus a percentage of their, of their uh, all their goodies and also their top-ups. If you're on the gold, you get four of their flavors, your Nick, a spin on the prize wheel, and another percentage off of all their goodies and top-ups. Now, if you're in the platinum, you get six of their flavors, plus your Nick, two spins on that prize wheel, and also a set of coil, God coils, and a percentage of all their goodies and top-ups. And that's basically how it works. So let's get on with Maze Gold subscription. We've got all the flavors nicked. We've got fresh cotton. And we've got some proper coils in there. Use Little Bro Vapes 10 to get 10% off of your proper coils. So let's get this review on the road. Childproof cap, all the warnings, everything that should be there is there. And that's on all of the bottles. The first one we're going to be looking at is Jam a Roly Poly. There we go. That's the bottle. We've got this on the Trusted Wasp Nano coming out at 55 watts at 0.3 ohms. Let's give it a vape and see what we think. Ooh. That is really, really nice. You've got a raspberry jam. That's what it tastes to me like. Obviously, taste is subjective. A raspberry jam, and then you're getting that sponge. Like a suety sponge. That is really, really nice. You've got like a candied raspberry, and then, then you're getting the sponge afterwards. I really do like that. It's a candied raspberry jam. Well, that's really nice, that. Seventy thirty, plenty of vapor production, and that was the ro jam roly poly. That was really really nice. Right on to the next one. This one is a strawberry shortbread. There you go. There's the bottle. What have we got this on? We've got it on the Smock Arc Fox. Really do like that review. Just out for that. Go and check it out on the Tallow X from Geek Vape. Uh, what have we got this at? We've got it at 70 watts coming out at 0 0.15 ohms. Let's give it a vape and see what we think. It's a little bit different. I'm getting the strawberry, but I'm not getting any shortbread. But it, to me, I know it sounds silly, but it sort of tastes like a strawberry milkshake more than a than a strawberry shortbread. I'm not getting any shortbread from that at all. I'm just getting like a sort of like a strawberry milkshakey taste. Seventy thirty, plenty of vapor production. I'm not really getting that much of a shortbread on there. I'm getting the strawberry, and it's more like a candied strawberry, like a, a milkshakey. But I'm not getting any shortbread from that at all. Right on to the next one, pine. Well, pineapple, pineapple paradise. I'm not a big fan of pineapple. If you watch this channel, you do know that. And uh, the monkey's got a pineapple on his head, which is quite funny. What have we got this on? We've got it on the Cold Steel 100 on the KP RDA. I don't know why I have to say KP. Uh, coming out at 65 watts at 0 0.2 ohms. Let's give it a vape and see what we think. Ooh, that's different. That's not what I was expecting. You're getting that pineapple. But it's like a sweet pineapple. It's not like a tangy pineapple. But then you're getting something maybe like a, a line behind it. But then it's got a sweetness. And I, I'm, it reminds me when we did the mango one of, of this. 
we did a mango and I said it tastes like there's a chocolate behind it and that's that's exactly what this tastes like you've got like that pineapple but it's not an, like a, an over tarty pineapple but then you've got that lime and then they've got the sweetness underneath it like a citrusy taste to it that is really really nice Pineapple paradise. Like I'm saying to you, you're getting that pineapple, but it isn't like an overly tart pineapple. Then you're getting like a citrus, but again, not like a sort of citrus. And then you're getting like a sweetness underneath it, which is like a, like it's, in fact, it could be like a milk chocolatey sort of aftertaste to it. That is really nice. And I don't like pineapple. Seventy thirty, 30, plenty of vapor production. Yeah, I like that one. That is really nice. Pineapple Paradise. I'm quite surprised at that one. Right, on to the last one. This one is called Watermelon Wave. Watermelon used to be like my go-to flavour. I used to really like my watermelons. And what have we got this on? We've got it on the Thelma. On top of the Ladin RDA. Coming out at 65 watts. At 0.23 ohms. Let's give it a vape and see what we think. That's different. That's got an ice to it. It's got an ice, and then you've got uh, the watermelon, but it's more like a bubble gum watermelon, if that makes sense. When I'm saying it's got an ice, it's got like a. It has got an ice to it, but it's a. Uh, it's not like a, an ice cream headache ice, but it's more of like a, you can feel it in your mouth sort of ice, if that makes sense. The watermelon is a little bit bubblegummy. Yeah, it's that, that's not one for me either. 70-30, plenty of vapour production. Yeah, not one for me, that one. That's uh, a watermelon, a wave. So, if I was going to put these into an order of what I like, what would I go for? Well, my first one would be, yeah, I'm going to do it, Jam Roly Poly. I'm, again, I'm not really into desserts, but that is really, really nice. You, like I said, you got that raspberry, and then you, you get in that sponge. Then I would definitely put the Pineapple Paradise. That is absolutely gorgeous. That is really, really nice, and I don't like uh, pineapples. I would then put the Strawberry Shortbread. I could taste like a milkshake, but not very much uh, shortbread on it. And then last but not least, the watermelon uh, wave. Not my type of watermelon. I don't like the mix between the ice and the watermelon. So that has been another review by Little Bro. Big shout out to Vape Mail. They are doing a thing as well. If you do refer a friend, you do get some money off of both orders. So go check that out on the website. So yeah, big shout out to Vape Mail. This has been another review by Little Bro. If you've liked the review, make sure you like, subscribe and share. The subscribe button's in the corner. Give it a little press and get into that new magic number. I'm on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. Go and hit me up, people. And if you'd like to support the channel, like all them beautiful people at the front of the review, then the Patreon link's down below. Big love to you all. Look after yourselves. And I'm going to get something that I like. Keep them juices flowing. Don't forget to check out my latest video. Also, don't forget to check out Three Men and a Vape Show live at 8pm every Wednesday. And also, if you've enjoyed the video, make sure you subscribe. Ring that notification bell. And we'll catch you later.